We spent the past week exploring incredible Desolation Sound, British Columbia's cruiser's paradise. Despite being the most popular boating destination in the Pacific Northwest, we managed to find ourselves alone on anchor for a few days, soaking up the spectacular vistas and splashing into the pristine glacial waters to cool off. It's always difficult to leave incredible places like this, but it was time to haul up our anchor and continue the adventure. Only a hundred feet to go. <laughs> now I know how Tim felt when he hoisted me off the main. Yeah. Jeez. Well, that's the stern anchor up. One more anchor to go. Work out. It's hard, isn't it? Hard. Oh, sad to leave this place. Uh, I would come back again. Yeah. Now that we know the trick to anchoring now. <laughs> creating all of our own wind at the moment. But yeah, it's completely still. Just doing some quick reading up on our engine. We noticed that it is still leaking yeah. coolant. Still leaking coolant, which is slightly troublesome. Our temperature has been holding very steady, but it's only a slight leak. Still coming out from underneath the hose clamp where the um, coolant comes back into the pump. So we're thinking that it's probably just a little bit of cracked rubber hose or something that's like bit into the hose too much and cracked it slightly. We're gonna try removing probably the top inch, inch and a half of the hose. We're gonna try to fix it again later when the engine cools back down. But for now, she's good. We're just plugging along and we'll get there in another hour or two and everything should be fine. engine a break. Yeah. Exactly. Just getting a little bit of a better twist in the mainsail. The wind's not really that uh, strong, so hopefully it'll catch it a better. I think we're also stuffing the Genoa a little bit, so I'm going to loosen it all. Oh, we 
if we had a leech line, we tighten the leech to go upwind more. Or at least I think that's what it does. But yeah. we don't have a leech line, so off the wind we fall. And I should start singing songs on the boat wall. chain hey get it through the end of the chain and then okay. bring it back to the boat and then we can let out more road until we get it back to the boat there you go all right hang on to your stern line That went pretty well. 10 out of 10 execution by me.
One of our lovely boat neighbors just rode over and delivered us a bag of freshly caught prawns. He literally just hauled these out of the ocean an hour ago and we are so stoked about this act of kindness. We are going to cook them up. We've got some steak that we need to eat and some corn and we're thinking we'll do a little surf and turf. Appetizers. Mm. Mm. Well, this looks amazing. Thank you. Looks delicious. Get into it. Get yeah. Into it. <laughs> the most delicious prawns. They're very juicy. It was the freshest prawns I've ever eaten. Hours old. Burn ash. Mmm. That's the ship. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> and your prawn traps. What a guy. Legend. Has a nice boat, too. Over the last couple of days, we've noticed that our engine has been leaking coolant. It overheated a few days ago, which we shut it down immediately and anchored in the mouth of the river. But when we looked at the engine, we noticed that the hose coming out of the water pump has been wet. So we think it's leaking coolant out of that hose connection. Our plan to fix that is just to cut the hose back an inch or two to some fresh hose and reclamp it and see if that helps it to fix the seal. We've got plenty of hose length to play with, so it's no biggie to cut it back an inch or two. We're gonna top the engine back up with coolant and then just re monitor the situation. If it stops leaking coolant, then that's fantastic. And if it does, then we'll keep on investigating it, but we'll just keep a close eye on our running temperatures and um, hopefully everything will be okay. So James decided that today was the day that we were going to take this wood off the companionway and finally sand it down and make it look good. So he's been working away on the teak here in these little cubbies and they're beautiful and now he has rowed to shore, climbed this hill, and is currently sanding way up there. It's really hot though, so I think we should go for a swim. Yeah. I got all the varnish off and sand it back to 60 grit. Beauty. So excited, they look so fresh. Yeah, they're gonna be nice. But I am roasting now. It is one hot, sunny day out there. Refreshed? Yes, very much refreshed. What is the plan? We're gonna haul up our anchor and we are going to head south to restock. We definitely need ice and probably top of our water. We're gonna maybe meet a friend. We are first time in meeting up with a friend and rafting or buddy boating, so that should be good. Yeah, I'm excited to buddy boat. Yeah, but we don't know if they're there yet. We haven't had service, so we need to get out of here and see what's up. Sweet. Well, shall we hit the open ocean? Let's do it. All right.